My name is Dheeraj Kakkar. Uh, I have a PhD in electrical engineering where I specialize in imaging and I've been working in the imaging area for about 20-21 uh, years. Uh, I founded uh, this company Canvera which is an online photography company based in Bangalore. Uh, we service the needs of professional photographers all over the country. Uh, we were founded about five years ago uh, and we've grown to about 650 people in about five years. Uh, we've raised about 70 crores in venture capital money uh, and uh, we primarily focus on the domestic market in India. We started off uh, as I mentioned uh, focusing on the needs of professional photographers all over the country. Uh, we think there are anywhere between quarter of a million to about half a million professional photographers servicing the consumer market in India. So in the five years that we've been in business uh, we today have about 13,000 photographers and that base is growing uh, spread across 400 cities who have bought product from us. Uh, we have a very large sales organization uh, which goes and reaches out to professional photographers all over the country uh, and uh, shows, them about, shows them our products and gets their orders and builds websites for them and that kind of stuff. We have broadly two product lines that we offer and they have different market sizing associated with it. Uh, one which is sort of been the core of our business is highly personalized printed products like very high-end coffee table books. Uh, we think that that market uh, all by itself is about a big billion dollar market in India today growing at about 15-20% uh, year over year. Uh, most of this market is actually driven by the wedding market. 70-80% of the business in the photo book market comes from the uh, wedding market where brides and grooms get uh, their wedding books made through the professional photographer for themselves and for their families. And uh, th there are about 10 to 12 million weddings in the country so from there you can extrapolate and figure out the 1 billion dollar number. Presently we are uh, expanding our product suite. Uh, so the second product suite which we are expanding right now is a complete online platform which allows professional photographers to run their business. So not only will it allow the photographer to build a website uh, which is their portfolio website but it has e-commerce built into it and it has got features around collaboration. So if I want to collaborate with my client today most of that work is done offline today over DVDs and, and courier services. Uh, but we are building a full platform which will allow all of these 200 50,000 photographers to actually run their business on a completely online platform and then also provide printed products and other products and services. So presently our, our next growth strategy is to really introduce this product into the market uh, and see it flourish. My interest primarily is in photography. I've been working in the imaging area for a long time and in photography in particular for the last 10-12 years. Uh, so as we looked at the photography market, uh, you know, we uh, the, the, the thing that we liked about it most was that photography Photography in India is primarily driven by the wedding market. There is no other uh, technology enabled product or service which rides on the wedding market apart from photography. So we really like that characteristic. And then we started investigating what are the uh, revenue opportunities within this broader photography and wedding market. And those are directly linked to the uh, to the domestic consumption growth. So for example, I mean, just to put it very plainly, uh, you know, uh, uh, pick any socioeconomic uh, strata and, and pick a wedding in that. Uh, 10 years ago, if they didn't do photography, today they're doing photography. 10 years ago, if they spent X, today they are spending probably 2x and you can extrapolate that you know going forward as well so absolutely uh, the that was probably the number one uh, market characteristic that we like that is that our the the prospects of our business were directly linked to the growth in domestic consumption in India I lived in the US for about 13 14 years at the time that I left uh, and even along the way we would you know visit often uh, the opportunity to start your own company to get venture capital funding to get angel financing uh, was practically non-existent and I've primarily worked in San Francisco where uh, there's a full s startup ecosystem. So I think uh, the development of that ecosystem itself was a very attractive factor which forced me to move back and, and start this business in India. So I think it's it's come a long way uh, from being uh, practically non-existent to there being you know billions of dollars of early stage venture capital money available including a robust uh, angel ecosystem and of course along with that you know there's a whole set of you know mentors that come in which are also a very critical part of the ecosystem so folks who've been successful in different businesses uh, have set up base in Delhi, Bombay, Bangalore and are helping entrepreneurs locally. So I think the whole ecosystem has come about uh, very nicely over the last few years. The per capita consumption in India uh, you know or you look at per capita GDP 
there's only one way for that to go, uh, which does not mean that there aren't challenges, but uh, compared to any developed uh, economy, if you look at any metric on, uh, on consumption and, and productivity, uh, there's only one way for India to go, and with a population of 1.2, 1.3 billion people, uh, there's no question that uh, India's future economic growth will come from domestic consumption. Uh, as an economy, uh, it will be a very large economy over, over the long period of time. Uh, and so I think uh, whether you look at it from a domestic policy point of view or for uh, developed markets as a, as a strategic sort of growth strategy for, for companies in, in developed markets, I don't think India can be ignored at all.